Today I'm going to teach you how to discharge and charge a car audio capacitor. The first thing you want to do is take your fuse out of your power wire. Alright. So we'll slide your fuse out. Leave that there. And then you go to your trunk. Here's my capacitor. The level is draining because I just took out the fuse and yes, it's hanging from a noose. I did not do that. Now, you have to get a resistor, preferably one of the light bulb resistors. Mine did not, my new one did not come with one of these. So I had to get one from Radio Shack. They're like, I don't know, maybe a dollar, less, less than two dollars. So then to discharge it, you put one end of the wire in the positive terminal and the other end in the negative terminal. You have to get a good connection in there. It's hard to do while holding the camera. You see the light starts to light up and then it gets dimmer. And once it gets completely dim, the capacitor is discharged and it is safe now to unhook it. Alright, now you want to have your new capacitor. You should probably have it mounted. Mine came with it, but just for time's sake, I'm just going to put it in the noose. Anyway, you want to have your negative or your ground or whatever grounded out and hooked up to the capacitor. And you want to have your power wire hooked up, but remember that the fuse is still out towards the battery. So then, you take your, your resistor, take it up to the battery, you take it up to your, where your fuse was, and hook it up to your fuse without putting it in. All right, these are very short wires, so you might wanna, I'd recommend cutting some more off. I didn't, but that's why it's so difficult. Anyway, you put the wires in where the fuse goes, then your light bulb will light up, and just like before, when you're discharging it, you wait for it to dim out. 